I tricked. And this is great for the. What's it called? I tricked Ted into letting me give a talk. What's Ted? Is that like um uh like an expo? Either way, let's let's check this out, man. Big will and he. And this is great videos, for the classical physicists like Newton. But when we look smaller, a lot smaller. <laughs> things Yo, bro, I'm telling you, wait, 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 wait. This is like a serious thing. How has Will and he managed to get? These are no longer that? how they seem. Right? Hello. I've got no idea what I'm talking about. What? Not a clue. He thinks I've got a PhD. All right. So if you're not familiar with what I'm doing here, this is me giving a TED talk. Nah, this is going to be amazing, man. Oh my God. Talk. Which, according to TED themselves, is a showcase for the world's leading thinkers to give the speech of their lives. Some of the smartest people to ever walk this planet have given Yo, bro, he still has this. If you don't know, um, uh, Will and he did a video going to um, uh, what was it, Indonesia, to spend a uh, billion dollars in their currency, and they they got um, uh, tailored suits, and he's still wearing it. I didn't like it, and he talks. Bill Gates, Stephen Hawking. Willing. Elon Musk and we want to be just like them. But why? Well, a few years ago, I dropped out of university to make silly little internet videos full time. And in doing so, severely disappointed my parents. So I think, right, if I can get my own talk, my very own speech uploaded to the TEDx channel, I may finally be accepted As again. As he pulled it off. But the problem is, we're not really experts on anything. So how are we going to do this? Well, to get an official TED Talk uploaded, you need to hold your very own TED event. And to hold your own TED event, you need an official TED license. We obviously need to get the license before we can go any further, right? Yeah. The license can take up to eight weeks. Then Ted need to know exactly where it's going to be held. We're here to speak with Callum. We're organized a viewing. Hello, you all right? How's it going? Hi. Now we... Yo, don't tell me people paid money <laughs> thinking that they're going to get some good advice and it's just this, man. Oh we wanted to show God. Mr. Ted that we meant business. <laughs> so we picked a venue called the Hackney Empire, a legendary East London venue that can seat up to 1,275 spectators. Now, right, that's all well and good. So say we get the license, right? We put on the event and it all goes swimmingly. But then we still got the final boss, the Ted media uploader so for ted's content approval process right you don't just send them your video and then bang they're uploaded to 37 million people worldwide Ooh. oh no right that would be that would be irresponsible what if somebody wasn't who they said they were they are then reviewed by a team of media screeners somewhere in new york to make sure that none of these speeches and talks violate any of their extensive content guidelines Anyway, right? Yo, How I didn't know they had that many subscribers, man. Damn. How do we know all this? <laughs> so this is Ola. Now, Ola is a veteran here at Will and E Industries. And where did you used to work, Ola? At TED. And on what team, Ola? The media screening team. Yeah. Now, in our quest to achieve this seemingly impossible task, Ola didn't know it, but she was our secret weapon. No way they actually uploaded it, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Wait one second, man. Because, bro, this video was uploaded, wait, wait, five hours ago. They probably took it down by now. I want to see if it's still up. Wait, that's 22 million. Oh. This is the one. Ted. Hmm. 
They do upload a lot. Bear with me, I'm just looking, man. They upload heaps, man. I have to go through all of this, man. Fucking hell. They upload like 20 a day, bro. Okay. Hmm. 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 Okay, I give up, man. I give up, man. I give up. Let's get back to the video. Because when we were planning all of this, she let something slip. You would watch a few, and then you'd see, okay, this event has good standards, and you'd definitely like, be a bit more relaxed than really? the rest of us. Okay. And okay. audio quality and video quality being good, immediately you're like, sweet. So we decided that the best way to increase our chances of getting anything uploaded here would be to assemble some of the finest speakers that we possibly could, and then we'd film them in crisp 4K quality, and assemble our very own Ted Trojan horse, in which we could slip our silly little speeches into to help them breach Ted's impenetrable walls. All right, so now at this point we had everything sorted okay. apart from our talks. So I reached out via the Will and the Instagram to see if any of you lot are smart. And surprisingly, uh, I'm definitely not. Uh, some of you are. So this is Cameron, Imogen, and Georgia, who are experts in their respective fields, and them lot they put together the speeches we'd be doing on the day. Last night, we had our license come through. We're approved. Yes! Yeah. And we've sold how many tickets? About 110. Wow! So this is our event on their website. Woo! Thank you, thank you. Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to my TED Talk. So you're going to do that, right? People have bought a TED Talk ticket and you're going to do that in front of them. Yeah. All right, hello my friends. Today is the day I am ready to That's head to cool. the event. We've sold like 200 tickets for tonight. Like people sit and look at the TED website to see if events are happening like near them. We barely promoted this at all. Like as we speak, there's like hundreds of people. Yo. This is like a Nico level type trolling man. And I love this um uh, this type of video from With a Knee man. Um uh the production's up. Bro. Willen is gone. Genuinely hard, getting ready to come and see some educational talks. And another thing I haven't mentioned is uh tonight we're gonna be joined by a special guest. Steven Troy. <laughs> This is gonna be amazing. We made a big mistake. Just this idea that my mental health, my conditions don't define me. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. It's so serious. It was funny. Yeah. It was complex. It was me smashed it. Who the fuck was him? So, uh, just a note, if you're new here, this dashing young man is Stephen. Now, me and Stephen, we go way back. But recently, Stephen commentated a charity football match that I played in and yep. had some choice words. If I was up against Willany, I would get in his head, his square head. Willany's running there. Do not adjust your sets. It's not in slow motion. It was a great pass. Unfortunately, he did it to Willany. He wasn't athletic. And uh, together... Stephen was amazing in that commentary. Him and Spencer, bro, just amazing. Amazing man. I'm back for this. Today, Stephen just thinks he's doing a normal talk. However, that's not the case. What we've told him is that all he has to do is go up and read from his cue cards or the auto cue. But what he doesn't know is there's some gaps in that script. And we might have tampered with the presentation too. Thanks, guys. Yo, My uh, name's. You know what? I feel like Stephen is like quick with his feet and he'll like. If he crumbles, it's going to be very. Um, uh, Shocking. Stephen and my talk is on invasive species. I don't mean me on this stage. 
An alien species is an organism which has been introduced to a new non-native environment. Here are some examples of this. Oh, grey squirrels. The grey squirrel carries a disease called... Uh, there is not one smile in that crowd, bro. The not squirrel pox smile, virus. Bro. This disease kills the red squirrel, but has no known lasting effect on the greys. Common carp. Common carp are one of the most damaging aquatic invasive species. They degrade water quality by rooting in the lake bottom while searching for food. <laughs> <laughs> We're all familiar with Paul. He doesn't go after schools of fish, he goes after <laughs> schools of children. <laughs> Yo! Invasive yeah, alien I species. You, you, bro, I told you you'll be cooking this video, but bro, how is everyone so serious in there? Like, they, I would have started laughing. Typically have detrimental- it might be the most serious crowd I've ever seen in my life. ...effects upon the environment they inhabit mm. through a predatory influence. These are not to be confused with. <laughs> Predatory influencers. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. There are over 10 identified invasive alien <laughs> species in the United Kingdom that are a serious concern to the water industry. Here are some of my suggestions as to how we keep these pesky critters at bay. What? Condom fish. Oh my god. Condom fish. Find this in any good pets are us. Condom fish, if anyone has been to Cubs or Scouts, you will have gone to a pond with your condoms and stuck them on a fish to get your condom fish badge. I don't normally put plastic in the ocean, but... Do they have condom fish fingers? <laughs> but if it's covering up and protecting a fish, I'll do it, guys. Hey, I'm that guy. Invasive oh, species do not only come in the form of fish and other animals. Floating pennywort can also negatively impact their surrounding habitats. Pennywort is native to the Americas and was introduced to the UK from Mexico. Its fast asexual growth and environmental adaptability has enabled the plant to continue to spread exponentially. So how do we prevent this from happening again? How? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Do I need to say any more? <laughs> we take to the sea and have war with the Mexicans, guys. It's not cool, I know, but uh, well, that's what Pretty Patel wanted. <laughs> <laughs> My conclusion, fuck, fuck those fish, fuck but make sure it's the condom fish. Stay safe out there, guys. Oh, that's incredible. You may have just witnessed me have a bit of a rough time doing my presentation. That what with amazing. declaring war on Mexico and condom fish. I didn't declare war on condom fish. If anything, I said they were a good thing. Hey, Will, nice prank. Two can play at that game. I've had a little tamper. Only a little tamper. I didn't want to ruin his big day. Hey, let's see if Will is as quick as Steven, uh, man. Just messed around with his see, auto cue. This is great. I feel like a cuck just watching you two fuck each other. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Will and I am here to talk what? to you about the sun. So what's the greatest threat to modern society? According to my granddad, it's foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sun. In September of 1859, the most intense geomagnetic storm in recorded history hit the earth. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Reports of a light were so bright that the American press reported citizens could see right through their wife's wife's t-shirts. <laughs> what the fuck? Sunspots can be indicators of future increases in space weather. These spots are the source of most solar flares. Both of these can be present in solar superstorms like the Carrington event, and each of those come with their own free toy. <laughs> He walked right into that one. <laughs> Undersea cables which provide the internet across the world and therefore enabling us to watch Joe Weller videos. <laughs> oh if a repeater God. failed, all parallel... F Better watch your mouth, it's gonna find you in a car park somewhere, man. ...fibers in the cable become totally unusable like Gilfie Sigurdsson in the Everton squad. <laughs> <laughs> At an average of 3.6 kilometers, fixing these will be a costly and difficult measure. But I'd be willing to cover that. <laughs> <laughs> GPS and satellite communications are transmitted through a highly charged area of the atmosphere. Mind you, I could do with charging the atmosphere in here. <laughs> oh my God. The UK believes that the impact 
of such a superstorm would result in a short blackout of civilian telecommunications. I know what you're thinking. How will I send my dick pics? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> but key strategies to minimize damage involve reducing or shutting down the white power generation. Risk of a solar superstorm of what? this level. Holy shit. It's meant to be power generation. I just put white power. <laughs> Minor storms causing a partial radio blackout are possible. Whoa. And in 2021, the UK government released a charity single. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers. Well, it's been a pleasure. Give him hell, man. <laughs> Fucking Joe Weller videos. <laughs> Did you ask him to do this? Oh, no. He just does this all of his own accord. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. He read it for himself. So, who am I? Yeah, he did. Something to do with cocaine. I know that. I'm Mikey. <laughs> Mikey and I'm Lamb. here today to talk to you has about gone, a debate. Mikey. That has divided humans for centuries. To scrunch or to fold. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> and how about a gender divide? Well, when I asked, only 10% of females admitted to scrunching. And the rest of them asked me to leave the women's toilets. <laughs> you employ him. He's the best there is. But what do scrunchers and folders have in common? Good intentions. What is the answer? Science. Now I know what you're thinking. Is this a purchase that was swiftly removed from my internet history? <laughs> it's actually a two scale replica of my bottom. I think they're traumatized. Via paper mache. Okay, now Mikey's talk went severely downhill from here, so we'll spare you that. And much like my first year in uni, I was ready to experiment with my art. Not surprised. And also, just to pause that there, right, I'm sure a few of you might be thinking, hang on, Will, surely these talks are never going to make it past the media screeners and get uploaded onto TED. And you'd be right. Uh, but don't worry, right? Because That's I why I couldn't find that it. Something like this might just happen, and I'd prepared a backup talk just in case. So then we packaged off our talks and sent them to Ted, sneaking them in amongst the fantastic, serious ones done on the night, and the waiting game began. Day number one, my good sir. Are we up there? No. Now, what we haven't mentioned here is there's still one more issue. See, when we were speaking to Orla, she was saying that if a speech doesn't go up about a month after the event took place, it's got Rejected. no hope of ever being uploaded, ever. Right, today's- Bro, imagine how much people are sending them videos, bro. They've got 37 million subscribers. Today, I feel it. TEDx, come on, William Lenny. Oh. My oh. God! Is it up? Nah. <laughs> you got me excited for no reason, man. I may finally be accepted again, and we want to be just like them. That was put out by the World Bank, and that was one of the most influential documents to me because it blew my mind. All right, my friends, today is the very last day that we can become official TED speakers. So we've come to Cambridge University just to manifest that today is the day our talks get uploaded. Okay, so that's, that's not us. No. That's not us. Yes! <laughs> no way. You got it, Mikey! Yo, it has to be. Bro, no, no, no. We'll finish this. Wait, where's yours? Look for it. We it's know what there. it's called oh, now. Quantum. Not there. No. It's not there. Well, my friends, anyway, I'm still. I still consider that a success. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please feel free to subscribe and we will see you again very soon. Goodbye. Sir, yes sir, man. Another banger from Will and Eve, bro. I love this video. I love this like high production Will and Eve videos. I need to see more and yeah, man, let's go.